great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Rice Owls and the Texas Longhorns. Number 14 is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. His quickness is the key. He can blow by his defenders in isolations, or he can run them off screens to get open looks. The Longhorns will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Longhorns should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if we can get their big man in foul trouble. Secondly, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Finally, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Both teams looking to get things going here. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets the bucket. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. up with it you really need to protect the ball around these guys try to go inside and they do they got it on the low block the student body is rocking tonight they're rocking right now my goodness Trying to feed the low block. Thinks about the shot. He uses the shot fake. He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Down inside. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. They're working around the arc. Bowen is feeling good. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. On the inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Tries to get the D to bite. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of bounds. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. On the top of the circle. Here's another look, Dick. Now trying to feed the low block. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He shoots from the top of the key. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. <laughs> Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locked with a rejection. Tanner handles the pass. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They go into the low block. The skip pass is picked off. The point guard receives the ball. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building.
Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. You betcha. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. Oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Pushing that basketball. He shoots from right of the circle. Buried it. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Drops the bucket despite the harm. <laughs> Stolen away. And going the other way in transition. Sinks the shot. What plays like that you need instant replay. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. And up. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. And the ball goes out of play. Gave it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? The shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Dick, he's just teasing. Brad, I'm not sure if I like that Tony. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Bowen handles the feed. Elam picks up the foul. Second personal foul. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. Texas has had a lot of success over the last few years with a 2005 College World Series championship. And then, of course, 2006 College Football National Championship. Well, they get some great athletes, Brad. Now they're looking for a few basketball championships of their own. Gets the second shot. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Five second call approaching. Look at that spacing. Woodson receives the pass. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Up fake. They're working around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Looking for a good shot. He fires from long range. Texas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. The center is going crazy. Austin, Texas is going crazy, baby. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. For two, can't get the shot to go. Tries for two. And in and out. Looking for the foul. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That's 13 unanswered. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. That's a 15-0 run. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. They look like they're having a blast. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Two. 
Perfectly executed. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Guys, he seems very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block. Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He intercepts it. Number 41, pump fakes. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. On the outside, fakes the shot. He shoots from outside. It's good. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. There's the fake. And a momentary look from three-point land. Let's watch the move as he works his man and out a fadeaway jumper. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Picks off the lazy pass. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up, fakes a jumper. Tries for two, doesn't go. Goes out of play. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Strips the ball. Here they go into the break. For the bucket, he shows the sweet touch. goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I oh, yeah. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down. That's good. Spacing. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Pump fakes. 
from the baseline. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. I think did a great job creating the good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Intercepted. And the ball goes out of bounds. Working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. High post flasher is open. Blocked. Nails the long distance, Jay. They work the perimeter. Stolen. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Perfectly executed. For two. They still don't score. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The center has gone wild. Austin, Texas is going crazy, baby. The shot from the baseline. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. They're pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? They'll work it around the arc. Here's a double team. He wants a three. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Attempts the Hail Mary. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. At the end of the first half, the Longhorns are up by 24. Texas shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Dick started the second half, and we take a look at our focused player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. 
He tries a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Gave it up. On the outside. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. You can't be that aggressive. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Both free throws go. Picked off. Defensively, they keep limiting their chances. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to, so he cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. He goes to the free throw line. He buries it. The Owls trail by 25. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Look at that spacing. Takes away the pass. The point guard takes the feed. Up and inside. He puts up the tray. That was nice. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. the bucket perfectly executed these guys are scoring at will hey the defense is falling and they can't get up baby working around the perimeter way out on top controlling the ball good job defensively Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. High post screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Dump it inside. Entry pass in the paint for two. Perfectly executed. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. 
They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious rope with their shooting, Brad. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. High post flashes. Picked out of the air. for two, and he missed. Steals a pass. Pushes it up. Jumps into the defender. Conti makes the finger roll. the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the outside. Look at these fans. They're loving it. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work the perimeter. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. At the free throw line. He makes it. Texas have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Now they work it around the perimeter. Puts up the shot. Goes. Gave it up. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Controlling the ball. He intercepts it. For the bucket. Doesn't go. He grabs the board. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries to knock down the three. Nice shot. For two, perfectly executed. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to land the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They work it back to the outside. He's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I 
Javante, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Picks off the pass. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He dials long distance. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Double team now, bad angle. Picks off the lazy pass. The Longhorns are mostly known for their prowess with a pigskin as opposed to the hardwood. Times are changing though, Brad. They have been more competitive of late on the basketball court. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he scores despite the hack. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to draw the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And they get the turnover. For the bucket. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. There's the pick. From left of the circle. Way off target. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Three. He drains the shot. He comes away with it. While pressuring, he goes for the steal. Not only is he applying ball pressure, but looking for the aggressive steal as well. Too physical. 
How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. A couple of free ones. He can't get one to fall. Gets it. Rice are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper, but they get it with the offensive rebound. The Owls are behind by 19. Gave it up. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Boston, Texas is going crazy, baby. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Working it around the perimeter. Launches the three. Gets it to fall. The Owls trail by 21. On the outside. Looking for contact. Sinks it. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. There's the trap. They work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. High post screen, gonna use it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really excellent on a post play. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. Now you gotta get back. Don't allow him to have numbers. It sticks. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And a momentary look from three-point land. Here's the offensive drop step, the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Looking for the foul, sinks the shot. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. From the baseline, he buries it. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. Dump it inside. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help stop. On the inside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent to go there. Yeah, that helps. Check it out, Mr. Vontel. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He'll visit the charity strike. Got it from the free throw line. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Count it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Third shot, no good. Goaltending called. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets the shot to fall. Top of the circle. Great shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from long range. Makes it. Working it around the perimeter. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Gave it up. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise. That, that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft, he's bounded, fading away, and passing the block. Puts it up. He nails the bucket. Focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, ten, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, you're going to get to the winner's circle.
And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Texas wins by a huge margin tonight. With a different...